we're also going to be discovering the science of the world, investigating what happened. Awesome. Thanks, Martina. You seem like a great science assistant to have today. I really love science and I really love pancakes. So we're going to try mixing the two together and make something really yummy to eat and learn something about science as well. First of all, for our pancakes, we're going to use two eggs. Do you want to crack them into that bowl, Martina, and I'll talk to you a bit about what they are? Eggs look a bit like solids when they come out of the packet, don't they? Because they're a bit hard and they don't really fill out the spaces. But when you crack it into the bowl, it's inside. Well done. We're actually going to use two of those today because we want to make some pancakes for our friends. Another one. Crack, crack. Nice work. Well done. So we've got the solid bit on the outside and we've got a liquid bit on the inside. Now the other super ingredient in pancakes is sugar. We're going to use caster sugar today because it's really fine. Do you think so sugar is a solid or liquid or a gas? Why would you say it's a solid? A liquid, I would say it's a liquid. Yeah, you can pour it. I'm going to pour this sugar in a bowl. It does pour like liquid, doesn't it? But if we put one of these tiny little pieces of sugar in a microscope, you actually can't fit them into a little space. So that's actually a solid. The sugar is cool because it's a crystal as well. We're going to use half a cup of sugar. So can you pop two of those in there for me, please? And fill it all the way up to the top. That's it. Make sure it's coming up all the way to the top. We want all that extra sugar. Nice work. Pop it in. So at the moment, we've got a solid and a liquid in the bowl together. But what I'm going to get used to, Martina, is to start mixing it together and we'll see what happens. So you have to be quite mixy with it. We're going to get lots of air into it. What's air? Oh, cool. I can actually see some bubbles happening now. I think those bubbles might be air. So now we've got a mixture of solids, liquids and a gas. Give it a really good whiz together. Well done. Really good whiz. And the last thing, one of the last things we're going to add is some flour. Now we're actually going to add about two cups of flour. We won't add it all at once. Now, if sugar was a solid, what do you think flour was? Yeah, well done. Because if you had a look at it under the microscope, it would be really, really tiny. Can you start putting a little bit of flour there for me? Going. 
Can you see all the bubbles that are coming up on top there? What do you think they might be? Yeah, it is the gas in there. Which is a bit strange really, because we didn't actually add any gases to it, did we? We only added solids and liquids and that. Let's see what happens when we put them on heat. We'll put a bit of spray on there. You can see the bubbles there, so there must be a gas in there already from the can.